Germany is experiencing a worrying jump in cases. The health ministry has said as the number of new daily infections passes 4,000 for the first time since early April. Now the German ministry warned of an uncontrolled spread of the virus within the country. The numbers in Berlin and Frankfurt have risen due to gatherings for family events or private parties. Germany recorded 4,058 new COVID-19 infections over the last 24 hours, a stark increase on Wednesday's figure of 2,828. Germans were asked to strictly adhere to norms of mask wearing, hand washing and social distancing. Seit Anfang September steigen die Fallzahlen von Woche zu Woche an. In den letzten Tagen wurden täglich zwischen 1.000 und heute sogar über 4.000 Fälle an das Robert-Koch-Institut gemeldet. In den letzten sieben Tagen, also Anfang Oktober, sind etwa doppelt so viele Fälle übermittelt worden wie noch Anfang September. Germany currently has a relatively low death toll compared with other European nations. Clifford Kuhnen, correspondent, DW, joins us live from Berlin for more on this. It looked like Germany was on top of things regarding coronavirus. Is this not the case? What happened? Well, they seem to have been successful so far. And I think one of the reasons that we know uh, we're able to track the current spike is because of uh, the success of track and tracing here. We've just had a new speed test introduced here, which can get a result in between 15 and 30 minutes. Um, and it's supposed to be very reliable and there's quite a lot of excitement about that too. Uh, that will also be introduced initially mostly with the most vulnerable groups. Um, they say the testing is up at about 95% of capacity now, which is, um, which is uh, hope, you know, hopefully um, it can stay at this high level without um, putting too much of a strain on the system going forward. But uh, tracking and tracing is, is one area that Germany has been successful in. Um, and now, as the health minister here, Jens Spahn, said, um, Germany just has to be careful now that it doesn't gamble away all that it's gained on the coronavirus measures. How will these new restrictions play out over the weekend in Berlin? What do you think is going to be the impact? Will it, how will it affect life in the capital? Well, basically, what we're seeing is, um, in, particularly in Berlin, um, we've, we've seen a lot of new restrictions. Berlin is unfortunately the hotspot for the, for the, for the virus. And um, we've seen restrictions on bars and restaurants. They now have to close at 11 p.m. Um, and can't reopen until 6 a.m. And um, there's also travel restrictions. I think people leaving the city uh, who are hoping to go away, given that we have the October holidays coming up now for, for two weeks, a lot of the schools are off. Um, people are hoping to get out of the country. They'll have to show a, um, they'll have to show a, a negative coronavirus test. Um, so a lot of people are having to change their plans there too. And also there's restrictions on the no amount that people, the amount of people who can meet during the day. There's only 10 in a group now. Um, whereas before it was 25 and basically they're just trying to keep pe telling people to kind of take it easy and to, to, to lower their expectations a little bit about the holiday period here and um, all of these sort of not quite locked down but, but still dampening measures. Uh, could you tell us a little more about the role that Germany is playing in efforts to find a vaccine? Well, one particularly interesting vaccine trial is um, with BioNTech and the US giant Pfizer. Um, they're getting to stage three clinical tes tests now and they're doing nearly 40,000 people. Um, and they're feeling very confident and it says that it will supply up to 100 million doses by the end of this year if it, it succeeds in, in uh, if the vaccine succeeds and even more next year. So um, that's a very encouraging news. Um, generally in Germany there's a feeling that the vaccine is on its way because um, the health minister has said that by the middle of next year they hope to have the vaccine available and they will focus initially on, on the most vulnerable groups and that also that it will be a voluntary vaccine, there won't be any compulsory vaccinations here. So the, the vaccine picture is looking optimistic at least. Alright Clifford, thank you so much for joining us with all, do all those details.